Ok. Si puedes activar tu micrófono, Julio, si me escuchas. Hola, hola, Julio, si me escuchas. Hola, hola, Julio, si me escuchas. Ah, oh, no me escuchas, ok. Thank, thank you, Manny, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Ok. Ok. A ver si hay Julio, ¿ya, ya, ¿ya me puede escuchar? Hola, hola Julio, ¿se me escuchas? Ok, no creo que no. Creo que no puedo escuchar. Yo ya se quedó congelado. Okay, okay, hola, hola, Julio. ¿Can you hear me? Hello, hello, Julio. ¿Can you hear me? Ya salió. Ok. Ok, man. So, don't worry. Okay, so, okay man. So, let me, let, let's introduce again, man. So, tell me, man. How are you doing yesterday, man? Uh, sorry, how what? How was your day yesterday? Oh, my day yesterday. Um, well, yesterday was a calm day. And, and oh, yesterday, it was okay, everything okay. I just go to the grid and then I came back to my house. All right, all right, very good. Many, and what do you have for breakfast yesterday? Oh, yesterday I, um, I think yesterday I have quesadillas for me. All right, all right, a, a piece of bread. And what about for lunch, Mary? What did you have for lunch yesterday? Uh, yesterday I I ate lunch really late. I I think at 7 p.m. I, I don't know. I ate... Um, I I don't know how to say like torta de pollo. <laughs> I don't know chicken. Ah, torta. chicken torta, chicken torta. Uh huh. And just that. Very good, very good, very good, good, good. Okay, okay, okay. Minani, and what about today? What do you have for breakfast? Today? Oh, I have a piece of um, pan dulce. Oh, I, I don't know if that that has a translation. No sé si se tengo una traducción. Sweet bread. Sweet bread, sweet bread. Okay, I had sweet bread for breakfast okay. and coffee and two quesadillas. Very good. Okay, okay. Hello, Julian. Can you hear me now? Oh, hello. I can hear you. Good, Julian. How are you, Julian? Fine. No, oh, I'm fine. Thank you. Very good. Julio, so tell me, Julio, how was your day yesterday, Julio? Uh, can you repeat? Yes, how was your day yesterday? Uh, I was fine. It was, it was busy, relaxing. How was it? Uh, can you repeat? Yes. How was your day yesterday? Busy, relaxing, stressing, boring? I was boring. <laughs> boring. Why boring, Julio? Why? Oh, I went to school. Okay, okay, okay. And how was school? You, you don't like going to school? I know, I don't like it. 
<laughs> why, Julio? Why don't you like <laughs> Julio? Why don't you like going to school, Julio? No, it's boring. <laughs> okay. Julio, is a school near your house or far from your house? I'm far. Far, okay. How how far is it, Julio? Oh, it's like two hours far. <laughs> oh, two hours, okay. Two hours, Julio, by car or by bus? In bus? By bus? By bus. By bus, okay. Very good, okay. Melanie, please say, Melanie, what are your hobbies, Melanie? What do you like doing in your free time, Melanie? Miguel, mm. I don't know, yes. I think I like... oh. Miguel, está Sandra aquí con nosotros, falta que te presentes con ella. Sandra, ah, okay, but, hello, Sandra, ah, Julio and Sandra are, are together. Okay, welcome, Hi. welcome, Sandra. So, Sandra, could you please introduce yourself, please, Sandra? Sorry? Can you please introduce yourself? Ah, okay. Um, hi, my name is Sandra. Um, I'm 22 years old. I'm, um, I want to improve my English and I live here in Ojo de Very good. Sandra, tell me, how was your day yesterday, Sandra? Um, yesterday. Okay, yesterday was a little bit busy because I had a lot of work, but it was interesting because I Sandra, had things to do. A lot of work. So, where where, where did you work, Sandra? What what do you do? Uh, okay, I I work in the airport. I work at the airport. I work at the airport. At the airport. Yeah, I work right, at the Sandra. airport. And Sandra, what, what do you do at the airport? Ah, I visit like uh, people or um, like I work in the lunch for. Ah, okay, 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 okay. Like where people wait for uh, the flights. Ah, okay. So you you guide people for the flights. Uh, yeah. Very good. Okay, okay. So I, I start with Manny. Manny, so Manny, tell us, Manny, what are some of your hobbies, Manny? What do you like doing in your free time, Manny? Mm, I really enjoy staying at home. <laughs> I think that's the thing I like the most. Um, okay. right. I like singing. I like hanging out with my friends. Mm, I like I don't, I don't like watching TikTok, <laughs> listening to music, and that's it. Very good. Okay. What about Julio? Julio, what are your hobbies, Julio? Can you repeat? Yes. What are your hobbies? Oh, my hobbies. Um, I like uh, sell products. I, I think it's my favorite hobby. I like to what, Julio? Uh, sell products. Ah, say products. Oh, really? Okay. Julio, and what kind of products do you like to sell? Uh, different kind of products. It can be clothes and cats. Different things. Or, or cats. Okay, really? Okay, very good, Julio. Julio, and what is the best product that you sell? What is the best selling product, Julio? Uh, is hats the hats? Hats. Okay, very good, really very good. Okay, okay. What about Sandra? Sandra, please. What are your hobbies, Sandra? Mm, my hobby. Uh, I like to to watch movies, and um, usually I work. Uh, I go. I walk my dog. Okay. And 
Very good. Okay, okay, very good. Okay, so listen, I'm going to share, okay, I'm going to share a, a board with you. I hope you can access it, okay? And the idea with the board is that you and I can work together on the board, okay? It's a digital board. I'm going to paste it here on on the chat from Meet, okay? So the idea is that you can click on the board, click on the link, and it will take you, okay, to the digital board, okay? Okay. Can you see my, my screen? Yes? Okay, can everybody can everybody see my screen, my friends? Yes? Oh, okay, very good. Okay, today is August 27, 2024. Goal by the end of the class, the students will be able to use relative pronouns as object and subject of the clause correctly. Okay, so we have already practiced the one, which is presentations and introductions. Okay, okay, look at this. Okay, let's have a quick English grammar review. Okay, I'm going to read. Okay, I says, number one, I have lived in London since 2019. My favorite food is spaghetti and tomato sauce. She don't like going to the cinema. I want to learn and speak French fluently. She is the intelligentest student in the class. I have to do my homework now. How much time do you have wait for the bus? I go to the park yesterday and played football with my friends. My brother is 25 years and he's a very good cook. And we go to the beach next weekend if the weather is good. For example, all of them have one mistake. Okay, I will do number one. It says, I, so you can say this, okay. I have lived in London, okay, since 2019. This is the correct one, okay. I have lived in London since 2019, okay. Okay, so number one, please copy, please copy these sentences on your notebook, please copy them. Remember, for my classes, you will need a special notebook for English, okay. An activity one is please copy, copy all of them, please, on your notebook, please. Oh, I'll be back in a minute. Let me go for one notebook. Yes, of course. Yes. Yes. So, activity one is to have your special, special notebook for English, number one. And number two, please copy, copy all of these activities, okay? Okay, I'm going to give uh, five minutes to copy, okay? Five minutes to copy all of them, super easy. Okay. Please write them down, please, or you know. Okay, I repeat activity. No one, please copy all of them. Okay. That is step one. Step one, copy all of these sentences on your notebook. Okay. I think. I thought you have five minutes to copy. Okay. Oh, should we write it in the correct way or the uh, first way? Feel my way, okay? Feel my way and then, and then on the correct way, okay? Please copy them as they are, okay? Remember, as they are, 
Bien, chicos, ¿cómo están? As they are, all of them have one mistake. Ok. So, step two. Step two is correct each of them. Ok. But activity one, please write them down. Write them down. Escríbalas. Please copy them on your notebook. Ok. As they are. Okay, my friends. Now you finish copy. Now please write the correct option, okay? The correct um, version for each of them. As I said, the number one, it says, I have lived in London since 2019. That is incorrect, okay? Here we have to say, I have lived in London since 2019. Okay? 
All of them have one mistake, okay? And please, now please write, write the correct option or the correct addition for each of them. Okay, I'm going to give seven minutes for that, okay? Seven minutes for that. Yes, please. Uh, let me check the limit, okay? I'm it. Okay, I'm going to say it again, okay? Wait a minute. Very good. All right, four more minutes, okay, to finish uh, writing the editions, okay, to finish writing the correct version of each sentence, okay? As I said before, all of them have one mistake. Activity one is find the mistake. Number two, please correct the mistake.
Okay, I'm going to the meeting again. Okay. Okay, very good. Okay, my friends. So let's check. Okay, I start with Melanie. Melanie, what about number two, Melanie? My favorite food is spaghetti and tomatoes sauce, Melanie. Where is the mistake, Melanie? Um, I, I have dogs with that one, but I think it's my favorite food is spaghetti with tomato sauce. I don't know. Okay, so let me wait. It says, it says my favorite food is spaghetti. Okay, with tomato sauce like that, like that, Melanie. Uh, just with an S, tomato. No, I'm not okay. <laughs> I don't know, but I think it's like that. Okay, okay. What about Sandra? Right, Sandra. What do you think, Sandra? Is this correct or is this correct, Sandra? Or both of them are incorrect, Sandra? What, what do you think? I, I think it's correct. Yeah. I think it's my sentence or, or Melanie mm -hmm. with the what uh, with with tomato sauce without the yes, just tomato sauce exactly uh, with yes. with tomato mm -hmm. sauce exactly why because remember tomato sauce belongs to a category of word which is called this one okay Compound, compound nouns, okay? Julio, what, what is the compound noun, Julio? Can you tell me? Do you remember? Uh, I don't remember. Okay, don't worry. Remember, compound nouns are two words put together to make one single word. Like here, we have tomato, which is one word. We have sauce, which is another word. So together they make one word, okay? Here, the word tomato acts like an adjective. Remember, adjectives in English, they never have a plural form. They always have a singular form. Very good. Next one is for Sandra. Sandra, she don't like going to the cinema, Sandra. Uh, she don't like going to the cinema. Uh, okay, let, let me work. She... She don't, oh no. She don't like the cinema. No, okay. Julio, what, what do you think, Julio? She don't like the cinema as well, oh, or maybe my sentence. She don't, she don't like going to the cinema, Julio. Is she doesn't like? Exactly. She doesn't like going she doesn't like going to the cinema very good remember the negative for she for he she and it is doesn't okay she doesn't like very good good and uh, what about uh, sandra i want sorry melanie i want to learn to speak french fluently mm, I, I don't know but i think it's i want to learn or i want to learn to speak french so is uh, could you repeat please um, Nani? I um I wanna learn to speak French fluently. I want to speak French fluently. Okay, that, that is an, another version of the same sentence, okay? Here Melanie, the correct is one, okay. Look at this. The correct is one, okay. Look at this. I want to learn. Look at this. Yeah, I want to learn to speak French fluently. Here, remember. After, after, after learn, we have to use, I want to learn to speak. I want to learn to drive. I want to learn to cook. I want to learn to sing. Sorry? That's what I told you. I, I told you I want to learn or I want to learn to speak French fluently. I... Ah, okay, 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 very good. So, so, sorry, what, 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 my mistake, very good. Okay, okay, so, well, good. Okay, man, very good. Okay. Okay. What about please, Julio? Julio, she is the intelligent student in the class, Julio. Uh, she's the most intelligent student in the class. Very good. She is. 
the most intelligent good student in the class. Very good, Julio, good. And I please, Sandra, I have to do my homework now. Uh, I have to do my homework now. Very easy, exactly. I have to do, I have to do my homework now. Very good, excellent, good. Please, Melanie, how much time do you have to wait for the bus? Demele, la idea es que diga, ¿cuánto tiempo has estado esperando al autobús? ¿Cuánto tiempo has estado esperando al autobús? I don't know if it's correct. Uh, hmm. How much time have you been waiting for the bus? Or how much time did you wait? Did you wait for the bus? How much time have you been waiting? Okay, for the boss. Or, or maybe Melanie and boys, remember, how much time is, is correct? Or maybe in a more English way, how long, how long have you, okay, been waiting, okay, for the boss? That is another possibility, okay? How much time is correct? You want to say more natural in English? How long have you been waiting for the boss? Very good, okay? Please, uh, Sandra. I go to the park yesterday and play football with my friends. I went to the park yesterday and I played football with my friends. Super easy, very good. I went to the park yesterday, okay, and played with football with my friends. Very good. Julio, Julio, my brother is 25 years and is a very good cook um my brother is 25 years and he's a very good cooker so you say my brother this? my brother is 25 years and is a very good cooker like this Julian? Uh, yes okay Melanie, what, what do you think, Melanie? Is correct or incorrect, yes, Melanie? What do you think, Melanie? Incorrect? I, I, will, I, will, I, will, I will. How my brother is? What? Mm -hmm. My brother is 25 years and he is, or he's a very good cooker. And he's so. very no. good cooker. Well, remember, cooker, cooker reference is estufa okay cooker estufa so how do you say cocinero remember cook. Cook. Okay. And yeah he the problem is here okay my my brother is 25 years yeah old remember you can say for example you can say i am you can say for example i am 29 for example years old or I am 29. You can say yes, I am 29 years old or I am 29. Never, I am 29 years, no. I am 29 old, no, okay? Only, only like this, okay? I am 29 years old or I am 29, okay? Very good. Sandra, we go to the beach next week if the weather is good. Um. Uh, we will go to the beach next week. Next month, or we're going to the beach next weekend if the weather is good. Almost, almost, almost under that. This one, okay. Here is ladies, okay. We will go. Yeah, we will go to here yeah, to the beach next weekend, okay. If the weather is good, okay. Remember, this is an example of the first condition, okay? Very good, my friends. Okay, please, my friends. Please copy, please copy the correct options, okay? Okay, because copy now, si no, si no las tenían ahí, correctamente, pues ahora sí, copy, por favor, okay? Ahí está. Okay. Así que, 
terminen de, de copiarlas, si no las tenían, por alguna razón, ok. Ok, de ellos, ok. Ok, my friend. So let's continue. Ok. Question. Question for Melanie. Melanie. Do you have a boyfriend, Melanie? No. No. I don't. No. Ok. So, Melanie, last thing, Melanie. What is most is important that... for you? What is most important for you, Melanie, when looking yeah. for a partner? Uh, Obviously, I, I mean be... part, partner, partner in the sense of your boyfriend, okay? It has to be a, a funny person. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. A funny person, and what else, Mimenani? A funny person, a rich person, a poor person, a talkative person, a serious person. He has to be an intelligent person, a, a, um, not a serious person, and he has to be um, a good person. <laughs> he has to be a good person. A good person. Good. What about Julio? Why is Julio? Do you, do you have a girlfriend? No. No, okay. Julio, last thing, okay. What is more important for you, Julio, when looking for a partner? Uh, I think you know, she... Very good. Uh, I think she needs to be a good person with, with other people. Uh, and with animals, she oh. needs to be kind with animals, I think. Okay, kind, very good, okay, very good, okay. What about Sandra? Sandra, what is more important for you when looking for a partner, Sandra? Um, what's important for me? Um, you need to be a good person, loyal, um, um, and uh, funny. Funny. Very good. Okay. Very good. Very good. Okay. Okay. Listen, I'm going to share my skin again. And I grow there some features. Okay. That many people are looking for. For example, here. For example, when people look for a look for a partner, okay. They, for example, they want to have similar ideas about having and raising children. A steady job. The same beliefs at least as much education and the same background. What is uh, Melanie? Melanie, what is Melanie? I study job, Melanie. How do you say I study job in Spanish, Melanie? I don't know, sí. like a, a um, trabajo estable? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Very good, very good. Exactly, exactly, very good. Un trabajo estable, very good. What about Julio? Julio, what is the same beliefs, Julio? The same beliefs. I don't know. I think it's, it's como los mismos pensamientos, por así decirlo. Casi, casi. Las mismas creencias. Okay, beliefs, creencias. Okay. Ah, Las mismas creencias. Very good. Sandra, what is Sandra at least as much education? What is this, Sandra? I don't know. La misma educación. Very good. La misma educación. Very good. And the same background. Background, okay. La misma trasfondo, ok, del mismo origen, ok, ok, very good, friends. very good, ok, so listen, let's go to the book, ok, and I'm going to share the book with you, ok, wait a minute, ok, ok, there it is, ok, so this is, um, we're going to use the book Interchange, ok, level 3, ok, from Cambridge, and this is unit 1, ok, this is a snapshot, this is Romance and Marriage in the United States, this is 
when choosing a spouse or a partner, single Americans want to find someone with children. Similar ideas about having a rise in children, a steady job, the same beliefs, at least as much education, and the same background. Okay? For example, the percentage, okay, 32%, 70%, 46%, okay, first of the year, but gears, gears, for this is more important that the boy has a steady job, okay, which is 78%. The same beliefs, 31% for men and 38% for women. At least as much education, 28% for men and 28% for women. The same background, okay, 7% for men and 10% for women, okay? Okay, now let's go to conversation two. It says, conversation, what are you looking for? I get to see the que suban su, su volumen para que escuchen bien el, el audio, okay? Okay, chicos, there he goes. Okay. Interchange, fifth edition by Jack C. Richards with Jonathan Hull and Susan Proctor. This class audio program contains recordings that correspond to students' book three, published by Cambridge University Press. This recording is copyrighted. Unit one. That's my kind of friend. Page two, exercise two, conversation. What are you looking for? Part A, listen and practice. What are you doing? I'm setting up my profile for this online dating site. I have to describe the kind of person I'm looking for. I see. And what are you looking for? Oh. I like people who aren't too serious and who have a good sense of humor. You know, someone I can have fun with. Okay. Uh, what else? Well, I'd like someone I have something in common with, who I can talk to easily. I think I know just the girl for you. My cousin Lisa. She's a lot of fun. and She loves sports, just like you. Well, why not? I'll give it a try. Okay. I'll invite her over for dinner, and you can tell me what you think. Very good. I will eat with Sandra, okay? I am Joe, Sandra, and you are Roy, okay? So, what are you doing? I'm setting up my profile for this online dating site. Uh, I have to describe the kind of person I'm looking for. I see. And what are you looking for? Oh. I like people who aren't too serious and who have a, a good sense of humor. You know, some someone I can have fun with. Good. Okay, oh, what else? Uh, well, I like someone I have something in common with, uh, in common with, who I can talk to easily. I think, you know, just a gear for you. My cousin Lisa is a lot of fun and she loves sports, just like you. Um, well, why not? I'll give you a try. I'll keep it up. Very good. Okay, I, I might cut over for dinner and you can tell me what you think. Very good. Next one is going to be for Melanie. Melanie is Joe and Julio is Roy. Okay. What are you doing? Now, I'm setting up my profile for this online dating site. I have to describe the kind of person I'm looking for. I see. And what are you looking for? Uh, I like people who aren't too serious and who have a good sense of humor. You know, someone I can have fun with. Okay. Uh, what else? Well, I like someone I have something in common with who I can talk to easily. I think I know just the girl for you, my cousin Lisa. She's a lot of fun and she loves sport, just like you. Well, why not? I'll give it a try. Good. Okay, I'll invite her over for dinner and you can tell me what you think. Very good. Listen, here we got some words. Okay, look at this. Let me let me find the marker. Okay, here, friends. 
What is setting up? Melanie? Como haciendo, haciendo un perfil. Very good, haciendo, configurando. Very good. What about Julio? Julio, what is Julio? Invite, invite over Julio. Invite over, what is that Julio? La invitaré a la cena. Very good. Invitar a alguien a la cena. Very good. Very good, my friends. Very good. Okay. Okay, my friends. So listen. Let, let me. Voy a compartir un archivo. Esperen un segundito. Esperen un segundo. Very good. Ahí va. Esperen. Para que podamos escribirlo. Pero creo que no pueden este, acceder. Ok. Al pizarra. Very good. Ok, esperen, vamos a... Esperen. Very good. Let's go to a file. Go to, go to, go to, ok. Then this way. Y, wait, I'm going to share it with you, ok. Okay. okay, I'm going to say it here on on the meet chat, okay? There. This is a doc file, okay? Okay, look at this. I'm going to share my screen. The idea is that you, that everybody can access the file, okay? Very good. Okay, here, very good. Okay, so this is an activity. It says, listen to Joe and Roy discuss Lisa after they had dinner together, okay? What did Roy think of her, okay? So we're going to listen to the audio twice, okay? The first time just listen, okay, and don't write. The second time, yes, write, okay? Okay, there it goes. Okay, listen to that, okay? There it goes. Okay. Okay, we will listen twice. Okay, the first time you just listen. Okay, there it goes. Okay. Bueno, chicos, ahí suban el volumen de su computadora para que lo puedan escuchar bien o de su micrófono, de su audio. Okay. Page two. Exercise two. Part B. Listen to Joe and Roy discuss Lisa after they had dinner together. What did Roy think of her? So, what did you think of Lisa? Well, I was worried at first, especially when I saw that you rode a motorcycle. I thought she might be one of those girls who was into heavy metal music and stuff like that. You know what I mean? But she's pretty normal, right? Yeah, and she's smart and funny and very pretty, too. I knew you'd like her. Yeah, I do. She's my kind of girl. So are you two gonna get together again? I hope so. I got her number, and I'll text her tomorrow. You think she liked me? I think so. She seemed to be having a good time, too. But I guess you're gonna have to get in touch with her and find out. Okay, so listen one more time, okay? And this time, please, there on the file, please write, write, what did Roy think of her? What the rating of the gear? Okay. Very good. Page two. Exercise two. Part B. Listen to Joe and Roy discuss Lisa after they had dinner together. What did Roy think of her? So, what did you think of Lisa? Well, I was worried at first, especially when I saw that you rode a motorcycle. I thought she might be one of those girls who was into heavy metal music and stuff like that. You know what I mean? But she's pretty normal, right? Yeah. And she's smart and funny and very pretty, too. I knew you'd like her. Yeah, I do. She's my kind of girl. So are you two going to get together again? I hope so. I got her number, and I'll text her tomorrow. You think she liked me? I think so. She seemed to be having a good time, too. But I guess you're going to have to get in touch with her and find out. Very good, my friends. Okay. Okay, so listen. I am going to the file now. Okay. 
And let's see here, okay? What are please, um, I'm going to wait here on, on, on the file, okay, this. I'm going to share my screen, okay? There it goes, okay? What are please, Melanie, very good. Julio, good. And Sandra, okay? Okay, were you able to listen or do you want me to repeat, okay? So, were you able to listen to the recording or do you want me to, to repeat again? Um, can you please repeat it again? Very good, okay, there it goes, okay, very good, okay, okay. Okay, yes, I'm going to repeat that two more times, okay? Listen. Remember, the idea is to get and to understand what the Roy think of the gear, okay? There it goes. Page two, exercise two, part B. Listen to Joe and Roy discuss Lisa after they had dinner together. What did Roy think of her? So, what did you think of Lisa? Well, I was worried at first, especially when I saw that you rode a motorcycle. I thought she might be one of those girls who was into heavy metal music and stuff like that. You know what I mean? But she's pretty normal, right? Yeah. And she's smart and funny and very pretty, too. I knew you'd like her. Yeah, I do. She's my kind of girl. So are you two going to get together again? I hope so. I got her number, and I'll text her tomorrow. Do you think she liked me? I think so. She seemed to be having a good time, too. But I guess you're going to have to get in touch with her and find out. Okay, so at least one more time, okay? Exercise two, part B. Listen to Joe and Roy discuss Lisa after they had dinner together. What did Roy think of her? So, what did you think of Lisa? Well, I was worried at first, especially when I saw that you rode a motorcycle. I thought she might be one of those girls who was into heavy metal music and stuff like that. You know what I mean? But she's pretty normal, right? Yeah. And she's smart and funny and very pretty, too. I knew you'd like her. Yeah, I do. She's my kind of girl. So are you two going to get together again? I hope so. I got her number, and I'll text her tomorrow. Do you think she liked me? I think so. She seemed to be having a good time, too. But I guess you're going to have to get in touch with her and find out. Excellent, friends. So I go to the share file, okay, and let's see if you were able to write some of the ideas, okay, about the the recording, okay. So here, okay. Okay, Melanie, could you please um, write something about the question? What did Roy think of the gear? What did Roy think of Lisa, Melanie? Uh, he was worried at first. He thought she was into heavy metal music and stuff like that, but he thinks she is pretty normal. And, okay. and can, can you please write there, please? Ah, oh, uh, I can write there. Yes, please. Write two ideas, please. Only two ideas, okay? No, puedo escribir. What? Sí, 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 puedes. No me deja. No te deja. Ah, okay, me ah ya vi. Okay, yes. Wait. Aquí, mira, lo dice tu, tu nombre, ¿no? Aquí dice tu, tu, tu nombre, ahí, ¿no? Ok, yes. Good. Very good, very good, very good. Y también Sandra, si puede entrar, Sandra, también. Please write Sandra, Julio, and Melanie, please write two ideas only, okay? Two ideas for Melanie, two ideas for Julio, and two ideas for Sandra, okay?
Very good. Sandra, very good. Very good. He thinks he's smart, funny, pretty, and he's kind of weird. He thinks he's pretty. Very good. Smart and funny, and pretty. he was scared because he was into metal music, but actually it's pretty normal. Very good. He thought he was into kind of metal and dark things. Very good. Okay, Melanie, could you please read please your ideas, please? He thinks. Oh, uh, he thinks she's pretty, smart, and funny. At first, he was scared that she were. I, I don't know if if actually was or whatever. Okay, she was too metal, but actually, she is pretty normal. Very good. Julio, could you read? He thinks. He thinks she's smart, funny, pretty, and she's kind of weird. Very good. Sandra, please. Uh, he thought she was into heavy metal or dark things, but no. no. And dark, dark things. Excellent, friend. Very good. Okay, so listen. Like, okay, I continue with the book. Okay. Very good, friends. Good, 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 good. Excellent. So far, so good. Okay, listen, I'm going to share another link with you. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, okay? And this link has to do with the grammar for this unit, okay? Okay, so there you go, okay? Very good. Let me... There it is, okay? Okay. Okay. Very good. Okay, I'm going to share it here on the chat from the meet, okay? There it is. If you click on the link, you will be able to see, okay, this that I prepared for you in this like this, okay? Okay. Okay, listen, so today we're going to practice the use of relative clauses in English. It says, relative clauses are essential components of English grammar that add depth and detail to our sentences. They provide extra information about the noun in the main clause, connecting ideas and clarifying relationships within a sentence. Understanding the relative clauses is crucial for mastering written and spoken English, okay? Here we have this one, it says, relative clauses as subjects, it says, when a relative clause acts as the subject of a sentence, it provides information about the subject of the main clause. This means relative pronouns such as who, which or that refers to the subject of the main clause. And the verb in the relative clause agrees with this pronoun. The relative clause functions as a unit, acting like a single noun that carries out the action of the verb in the main clause. For example, the man who lives next door is talking. Who lives next door is the relative clause. Who refers to the subject the man. And the verb lives agrees with the pronoun who. Here, the man who lives next door is talking. Here, my friends, the relative clause as subject gives you a special or specific information about the subject, okay? It's not any person, it's not any man. It's a specific man who lives next door is talking, okay? Look at the next. Relative clauses as objects. When relative clause acts as the object of a sentence, it provides information about the object of the main clause. The relative pronoun refers to the object of the verb in the main clause. 
which is the person or thing that is affected by the person's action, the doer's action. The letter clause can define the object, providing more details about what is being acted upon. For example, she bought the book that I recommended. That I recommended is relative clause. That refers to the book, which is the object of the verb bought. That is also the object of the verb recommended. Look, my friends, pay attention to this, okay? A subject, after, after the connector, okay, we have a verb, okay, here. Leaves, it, eats, drives, any verb. That is a subject, okay? But after the connector, we have a verb. And look at this. As objects, after the connector, we have a full sentence. I recommended, I suggested, I told you, okay? So remember, how to make a difference when the relative clause is a subject or an object? Super easy. After the connector, if we have a verb, is the subject. If after the connector we have a, a full sentence, I recommend is an object, okay? Here it says, object related clauses, example. Please, Sandra, could you please read for me? Object related clauses. Object relative, see, object relative clauses provide, uh, consist way to connect to related ideas within a sentence. They are commonly used to describe the specific object being discussed. Um, here, are here are a few examples of object uh, relative clauses in action. Okay, Julio, please. The cake. Uh, the cake that she baked was delicious. Relative clause. That she baked. Okay. Uh, the relative clause describes the specific cake that was baked. Very good. Um, Melanie, the movie. The movie that we watched last night was scary. Good. That we watched the last clause. night. Very good. That we watched last night. The relative clause identifies the particular movie being discussed. Very good. Okay, I will the next. The car that I bought is a hybrid. The relative clause that I bought, okay? Explanation. The relative clause clarifies the specific car that was purchased, okay? So remember, as an object, we always have, after the connector, a full sentence. She bake was the issues. We watched it last night was scary. Okay, I bought is a hybrid. Okay, that is the key to know if the call is the clause or if the connector is an object. Okay, look at this as subject. Okay, I'm going to make it bigger. Okay, look at this as subject. Okay, this is subject related clauses, examples. Okay, cases the student who earned the highest grade ace the final exam. The book that won the literary award was a bestseller. The musician whose album topped the charts is coming to perform in our city. Number four, no, okay. Number five, the house that was built in 1920s is now a historic landmark. Okay. So remember here, after the connector, we have a verb, earned, won, um, album topped the charts, okay was built okay here reference is the subject of the clause okay okay i will identify relative clauses tips because number one spot relative pronouns look for words like who which or that they often sign at the start of a relative clause analyze the structure examine the sentence to identify the subject and object this will help determine the function of the relative clause check for essential information the timing of the relative clause is essential to understanding the noun. If it is, it is a restrictive clause. Okay. Look at this. This is from, from the book, okay? He says, as the subject of the clause, I like people who aren't serious. I like people who or that have a good sense of humor. 
as the object, I want someone who or that I can have fun with. I like someone who or that I can talk to easily. So remember, easy. As the subject, we have the connector and then we have the verb that is a subject. As object, we have the connector and a full sentence. I can have wit, I can have fun with, I can talk to easily. Okay, so listen, like going to, to the board, okay? Okay, wait a minute, okay? And there, and there we have the book, okay? Wait a minute, okay? Okay, very good. Okay. Let's see what the book says, okay? Okay. As I said before, okay, we already read this one, okay. Now let's let's try to practice. Okay, it says my information in columns A and B, then compare with the pattern. I will read it says, I don't like to work with people who or that letter C, okay, are too competitive. I have some good old friends who or that. I discuss my problems with people who or that. I don't want to have a roommate who or that. I like to have a boss who or that. I enjoy teachers who or that. I'm looking for a partner who or that. The other B says, help me understand things easily, is messy, are too competitive, I can respect as a leader, I met in middle school, I have a lot in common with, can give me good advice, okay? Okay, please, don't copy all, just match one, letter C. Number two, I don't know, letter, letter E, I don't know, okay? Just match, okay? Then on your notebook, please write one, C, two, A, three, B, okay? Don't copy all, okay? Okay, five minutes for this, okay? Five minutes for this.
Okay, so let's check. I, I start with Sandra. Sandra, I have some good. Could you please, Sandra, please? Yeah, I have some good old friends who, um, who I met in the middle school. In middle school. Exactly. Very good. Who I met in middle school. Very good. Okay. Julio, please. I discuss. I discuss my problems with people who can give me good advice. Very good. Excellent. Good. Uh, Melanie, I don't want. Um, I don't want to have a roommate that is messy. Very good. That is messy. Very good. Sandra, I'd like. I'd like to have a boss that I can respect as a leader. Very good. Excellent. Good. Julio, I enjoy teachers who are that. I enjoy teachers who that help me understand things easily. Very good. Menani, please. I'm looking. I'm looking for a partner, partner uh, um, who I have a lot of common with. Very good, very good, excellent, friend. very good, excellent, friend. very good. Okay, listen, I'm going to the book. Very good, excellent, good, good, good. So far, so good. Friend. Okay, okay. So, listen. Okay, very good. Okay, okay. Let me let me take a. Um, Picture and I will post it there on on the board. Okay, excellent. There. Okay. 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 Look at this. Okay. I'm going to share the screen again. Okay. Okay. Here it says. Okay. It says. Okay. Let's say, please, Julio. Could you please read for me, please, Julio? A relative pronoun? A relative pronoun who or that is necessary when the pronoun is the subject of the clause. I'd love to meet someone who that is considerate. Not I'd love to meet someone is considerate. Very good. Sandra, when the pronoun? When the pronoun is the object of the clause, uh, who and that can be left out. I like a roommate who that I have a lot in common with. Or I, I like a roommate I had a lot in common with. Very good. It says, commit a conversation with who or that, okay? Put an X, okay, when a relative pronoun is necessary. For example, Anna, have you met Clean, the guy Laurie is going to marry? Oh, Clint and I have been friends for years. In fact, I'm the one introduced Lori and Clint. Do you think they are right for each other? Definitely. They are two people have a lot in common, but not too much. What does that mean? Well, you don't want a partner, okay, doesn't have a his or her own interest. Couples, okay, do everything together. Usually don't, don't last very long. I guess you're right. But the opposite isn't good either. My last girlfriend was someone I had nothing in common with. She wasn't the kind of girl, okay, I could talk to easily. Well, you can talk to me. Okay, okay so don't copy all. Just write A, remember, across, okay, if you don't need the relative pronoun, or maybe letter B, please write the relative pronoun, okay? So just write A, across, B, relative pronoun, B, okay, uh, cross, I don't know, okay? Okay, five minutes for this, okay? Very good. 
Remember, don't copy only, it's too much to copy. Okay, but just write A, cross, B, cross, or Latin pronoun, okay? Depending, okay? Teacher, I'm going to the restroom. Yes, of course, yes. Go ahead, please. Okay, I start with Melanie, please. Melanie, could you please read Oakland? Oh, Clint and I have friends for years. In fact, I'm the one uh, who? I'm the one who introduced Laurie and Clint. Very good. Okay. Julio, definitely. They are. They are two people who have a lot in common. Very good. Who have a lot in common? Very good. Uh, Sandra, please, Sandra. Well, well, you don't want a partner. 
that doesn't have his or her own interest. Okay, couples. Um, couples who no, that do everything together usually don't last very long. Very good. Okay. Okay, Melanie, I guess you are right. Was someone who I have nothing in common with? Was someone? Look at this here, man. Here, Melanie. Okay. Why? Because we have a sentence here. I had nothing in common with. Okay. Okay. Good. Uh, Julio, she wasn't the kind. She wasn't the kind of girl who I could talk to easily. Or, or better, this one, okay. Mm -hmm. chicos. Aquí tenemos, chicos, un enunciado completo. Okay. Pueden decir who or, or that, o pueden omitirlo. However, it's more common, it's more common in English when we have these kind of sentences, okay, to omit the connector, okay? Okay, I will read with Sandra. Sandra, I am letter A, you are letter B, okay? Anna, how you met clean the guy Lauri is going to marry? Oh, Clint and I have been friends for years. In fact, I'm the one who introduced Lori and Clint. Do you think they are right for each okay. other? Definitely. Definitely. Um, there are two people who have a lot in common, but not too much. What, what does that mean? Well, uh, you don't want a partner that doesn't have his or her own interests. Uh, couples that do everything together usually don't last very long. I guess you're right. Well, the opposite isn't good either. My last girlfriend was someone I had nothing in common with. She wasn't the kind of girl I could talk to easily. Well, you can talk to me easily. Very good. So letter A is Melanie and let letter B is Julio. Please. Anna, have you met Clint, the guy Lori is going to marry? Oh, Clint, I have been friends for years. In fact, I'm the one who introduced Lori and Clint. Do you think they write for each other? Definitely. They're two people who have a lot in common, but not too much. What does that mean? Well, you don't want a partner that doesn't have his or her own interest. Couples that do everything together usually don't last very long. I guess you're right. The opposite isn't good either. My last girlfriend was someone I have nothing in common with. She wasn't the kind of girl I could talk to easily. Well, you can talk to me easily. Excellent, my friends. Very good, very good. Okay, so I will I will continue with the book. Okay, wait, wait a minute. Very good, my friends. Very good. Okay. So this one, okay. Okay. Let's 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 continue here. Okay. Let's see. Very good. Let's go. Very good. Excellent, my friends. So far, so good. Very good. Good students. Good students. Okay. 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 Here it is, okay. Very good. Let me let me take you to the board. Okay. Here it is, okay. 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 There it is. Okay, there it is, okay. 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 Okay, I need to share my skin again. Okay, so here we have it. It says here, it says, Complete the descriptions okay, with the words from the list, okay? And here we have, for example, modest, outgoing, supportive, temperamental, and unreliable, okay? Maybe, maybe they are, 
familia Watch for You, ok. Por ejemplo, Melanie, ¿cuál es Melanie? Unreliable, Melanie. ¿Cómo está en español, Melanie? Melanie. Unreliable. Mm, no, I don't know. I, I don't know what's that. Okay, no worries. Depende, por ejemplo, write, write down on your notes, please. A mí, chicos, copien ese cuadernito. Unreliable. Unreliable. Tad en español, my friends, es de poca confianza. Unreliable. De poca confianza. Desconfiable también, pues es desconfiable. Ok. What about Julio? Julio, ¿cuál es Julio temperamental? Temperamental. Es temperamental. Very good, very similar to Spanish, ok. What about um, Sandra, supportive? Um. Supportive. <risa> Te voy a decir apoyativo. <risa> Era, um, oh, sorry. Um, es como, como que apoya, ¿no? Oh, no Exactamente. Sí. Alguien que apoya. Alguien que da apoyo. Supportive. Very good. Melanie, outgoing. Outgoing. No, I don't know what, what's the meaning of outgoing. Okay. Don't worry, outgoing. Outgoing es extrovertido, amigable. Póngale para ahí, extrovertido, amigable, llevadero. Que se lleva con todo mundo, ¿ok? And Julio, modest. Modesto. Modesto, very good, exactly, very good, okay, okay. So I wear this complete description with the words from the list. For example, says, Eric is so modest. He always has such great ideas and never takes any credit for them. The ones like meeting new people and having friends over for dinner. They are one of the most famous couples I know. You can trust Alice. She always promises to do something, but then she, does, she never does it. She's pretty. Okay. James wants to be an actor. It's hard to break into the business, but his family is very, okay, of his dream. I never know how to act around Lisa. One minute she's in good mood, and the next minute she's in a bad mood. She's so, okay. Again, once again, don't copy all the information, just write one, modest. Two, I don't know, temperamental. Three, I don't know, okay. All going, okay. Okay, five minutes for that, okay.
Ok, ahí está with Julio. Please, Julio, number two, please, Julio. The ones. The ones like meeting new people and having friends over the for dinner. They're one of the most outgoing couples I know. Very good. Outgoing. Very good. Sandra, you can trust. You can trust Alice. She always promises to promises? do something. Promises. Promises. She always... Promises to do something. But then she never does does it. She's pretty unreliable. Very good. Unreliable. Okay. Good. Melanie, James. James wants to be an actor. It's hard to break into the business, but his family is very supportive of his dream. Very good. Supportive. Very good. Okay. Julian, I never know. I never know who to act, how to act around Lisa. One minute she's in a good mood, and the next minute she's in a bad mood. She's so temperamental. She's so temperamental. Very good. Temperamental. Exactly, my friends. Very good. Excellent, friends. Okay, before we go, my friends, let's do this one. Okay, it says here we have to complete these analysis with your own ideas. For example, I will read. I generally like to go out with people who are easygoing and have a good sense of humor. I rather, I rather, yo preferiría, okay? I rather travel with someone. I don't really want a roommate. My classmates and I like teachers. My best friend and I want to meet people. Most workers would prefer a boss. Some people don't like stingy types. Stingy types, okay, son personas o tipos codos, okay, tacaño, stingy, codo, tacaño. I don't want to have inflexible friends. I feel comfortable discussing my problems with friends. My favorite friends are people, for example, I will do number two. I would rather travel with someone who enjoy, with someone who enjoys Okay. And um, enjoys traveling a lot. I rather travel with someone who enjoys okay traveling a lot. Okay, please do continue, please, from number three to number ten. Okay. This time, yes, please write, okay, and then write the compliment. Okay, write all the sentences, okay and you compliment okay 10 minutes for this okay if you have questions about what you don't know you ask me okay Remember, friends, here, for example, in, in my example, I would rather travel with someone, and here I wrote, who enjoys traveling a lot, or, look at this, okay, or I rather, 
travel with someone. Okay. Look at this. That I can rely on. Fíjate, como aquí tenemos el enunciado completo, chicos, puedo quitar el that o puedo quitar el, el who. Y únicamente dejar I can rely on. ¿Cómo saldría? I'd rather travel with someone I can rely on. Okay. Dime, we have two models, ¿ok? After the, con the connector, a verb, or no connector, no connector, and a full sentence, ¿ok? Whatever model you decide to use, it's ¿ok? ¿Ok?
Ok, vamos. Ahí está with Sandra. Please, Sandra, could you please read for me? I don't really want a roommate. Um, could I make a Who, uh, who doesn't like what? Who doesn't make chores? Uh, who doesn't who doesn't make chores like this? Mm -hmm. Okay, I don't remember who doesn't make chores. Very good. Okay, good. Tana. Julio, please. My classmates and I. Uh, my classmates and I like teachers who are good in his job. Who are good in their job. Very good, okay. Melanie, my best friend and I want to meet people uh, with, who, with who we have things in common. Who we have, okay, things in common. Okay, okay, okay. Here we have omit, okay. My friends and I, my best friend and I want to meet people. We have things in common. Why? Because remember, it's a full sentence, okay? Very good. Sandra, most workers will prefer a boss who knows how to be a good leader. Uh, we for a boss who what, Sandra? Who knows how to be a good leader. And who knows very good how to be a good leader. Very good. Exactly, exactly, exactly good. Julio, some people don't like... Some people don't like stingy types who looks only themselves. Who look only for themselves okay very good okay very good Melanie, i don't want i i don't want to have inflexible friends who i can't talk with i can read i can't talk with I can't talk with very good. Exactly, then we omit it also, okay? I don't know, I don't want to have inflexible friends I can't talk with. Very good, okay? Sandra, I feel comfortable discussing my problems with friends uh, uh, who advise me well. Okay, because like that advise me well, okay? Very good. Julio, my favorite friends. My favorite friends are people who have my same sense of humor. Who have, very good, who have my same sense of humor. Excellent, friends. Very good. So for you, this topic now is easy, okay? This topic of, this topic of clauses, okay, of Radical classes are Soviet and Soviet now is super easy for you. Very good, friends. Okay. So, listen, before we go, okay, I start with Julio. Julio, what are you going to do after class, Julio? Oh, I don't know. I, I'm going to watch TikTok. Watch TikTok. Okay. Okay. Julio, very good. Julio, don't, don't you have to go to school today? Um, no, I don't like, I don't want. Okay, but do you have to go to a school or no, today? Uh, yes, I have. All right, very good, Julio. Julio, wh what time are you going to school today? At, at 2 p.m. 2 p.m. Okay, so Julio is going to be from 2 p.m. to to what, Julio? Uh, to five. To five. 
Okay, from two to five. Very good. Okay, okay, cool. Very good. Okay. What about Sandra? Sandra, what are you going to do after after the school, Sandra? Sorry, after the class. I will make my chores at home, and then I will get ready to go to my job. Then, then I will go to my job from two to ten, and then I will come back to at home. All right, all right, very good, very good, very good. What about Melanie? Melanie, what are you going to do after class, Melanie? Uh, right after the class, uh, I probably yes. take a nap. <laughs> I will probably sleep. <laughs> okay, very good. Uh, from what time to what time, Melanie? Um, probably to um, from eleven to. 11 and a half. <laughs> I don't know, I gotta go to okay. to the bridge at 12 a.m. Ah, okay, okay. to teach a class. To, to teach a class, okay? Very good. Okay, Julio, do you have any pets, Julio? Uh, what? Do you have any pets? Uh, yes, I have a, a dog, one dog. Okay, okay. What is his name, Julio? Uh, his name is Skipper. Skipper, very good. Okay. What about Sandra? Do, do you have a pet, Sandra? Yeah, I have two dogs, one turtle, uh, a cat, and the other is very good, very good. What about Melanie? Melanie, do you have any pets? Yes, I have uh, one dog. One dog, okay, exactly. You told me, okay. Um, what is his name, Melanie? Uh, its name is Hachi. Exactly, Hachi. Very good, my friends. Very good, my friends. Okay, my friends. Very good. I think that so far is, is good, okay. Your learning, okay. Your learning is is good, okay. And so far, question for Julio. Julio, do you have any any question, Julio, about the topics, about the vocabulary we are practicing today, Julio? Uh, no, I haven't. No, no, I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. Okay. No, I don't. Okay. What about Sandra? Do you do you have any questions, Sandra? Uh, no. Something not clear. No. Okay. Very good. Melanie, do, do you have any questions, uh, Melanie, about the topics we were practicing today? No, I don't. Very good, my friend. Okay, listen, we for homework, we are going to access a platform, okay? And this platform, I'm going to show it to you. Okay, wait, give me a minute. Okay, you touch the platform. And for you, this platform is going to be free to access. I mean, you won't have to pay. Okay, I will show it to you. Okay, look at this. Just before we go. Okay, this is a platform is called Recreo. Okay, if you if you surface okay here on, on, on the page, okay, you will find a lot of information about Recreo. Recreo is not only for English, it is also for mathematics, Spanish, okay, natural science and history. Obviously, you will only access the English side, okay? Well, how do you access it? Super easy. Here, click on a start session, okay. And then here you will write your user and your password. Okay. Right now you don't have it. I will create it later. Okay. For example, you have here Fernanda, for example. For example, this one, okay. And he will say your name and the level in which you are. Okay. And here, my friends, you will find this. Okay. For example, I will go down. Here you will find, for example, ejercicio de refuerzo. De refuerzo. And here you will write, you will find the date, okay? Not for this week, but maybe for next week, which is going to be September 2, September 6, okay? Here it's going to be 2 September, 6 September. And the topics we were practicing in classes, for example, vocabulary, for personality, and relative clauses, okay? And the secret is here. You have to click on answer, okay? And then, okay, okay, you will find here, okay? You have to read the question, okay? Look at the image and choose the correct option. For example, here, Nadine took her friends a lot. She prefers to read, super easy. Nadine 
Yeah, doesn't talk. Choose the correct one and click on answer. Okay. Once again, another question. You read the question and maybe you click, you answer incorrectly. Okay, look at this. I will answer incorrectly and you will see, okay, some feedback for you to remember what the topic is about. Okay. So you read the feedback and click on okay. And it will change to the next question. Okay. Here, question three or four. Read the question, read the possibilities, the possible answers. Here you say, oh no, oh, I, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Okay, here I don't know. Okay. Once again, you will see the feedback, okay? And then click on okay. Okay, I will answer randomly here. The idea is that you you answer, okay? You finish answering the activities, okay? And, okay. and at the end, it's going to give you a score. Okay, for example, here. Here it's got 75% incorrect, 25 correct. Okay, here as you progress, this will also progress along with the week. Okay, and once you are here, you have to go here, okay, to the home. And here, friends, something important for you, for your parents, and for me. Okay, temas visas. Okay, here you will see all the topics you have practiced so far. These are red topics. You, we need to work harder on those topics. Green topics are good okay yellow topics they are in the process of being learned okay how do you leave this this place okay click here and click on close session but as i mentioned for that you will need a special account okay you don't have it yet but i will create that okay okay friends, so see you tomorrow have a good day thank you very much, friends. thank you bye bye see you tomorrow thank you bye bye thank you bye. thank you julio thank you sandra thank you melanie bye. thank you bye bye thank you Bye-bye.